hello everyone my name is Pritham Paul and welcome to another video and in this video we are going to continue with our uh, previous tutorial which is the lecture number two for three uh, up to property eight we have discussed and there is another property uh, is remaining but before that we need to talk about few more concepts first one is extended binary tree now what is extended binary tree an in a binary tree each empty subtree is replaced by a special node then the resulting tree is called an extended binary tree or two tree we can call it like uh, this two tree okay now how to how to convert it actually okay we can convert a binary tree into extended binary tree by adding some extra special nodes to its leaf node and those nodes who are having only one child let me give an example to you for example this is a binary tree okay this is a binary tree now if you want to convert it into an extended binary tree then obviously i have to uh, draw it again okay okay now we can add some extra nodes to with their leaf nodes and as well as with the nodes who are having only single child for example this is having only one single child this so we can add here but this one uh, sorry this is also having a single child so we can add this one but this one and this one these are leaf nodes that's why we have added two more extended nodes now you can tell me like what is the purpose of it this concept would be used in red black trees which is a uh, x uh, like advanced data structure i can say so just for a beginning purpose you should know what is extended binary tree. that's why i have discussed about it okay like these special nodes are added to the tree are called external nodes okay these nodes are called external nodes and those black nodes are called internal nodes okay these are called internal nodes and these are called external nodes okay we can also like use some boxes here like for any representation purpose you can use boxes as well not a big deal okay in many books you will find boxes in many book you will find find a uh, circle okay so this is the extended binary tree actually now there is another concept which is called full binary tree now what is a full binary tree if i say by diagram diagrams this is a full binary tree how a binary tree is full okay or a, we will call it binary tree is a full binary tree if all the levels have maximum number of nodes here the maximum number of nodes are 2 to the power 0 here 2 to the power 1 we all know now right 2 to the power i regarding the level okay so if i write uh, like draw this tree this is also a full binary tree then uh, if i add uh, nodes here This is also a full binary tree this one okay now if i add like more to to level wise if i add two nodes okay then again it is going to be a full binary tree that means all the level should have maximum number of nodes so to the zero which is equal to one 2 to the power 1 which is equal to 2 1 and 2 then 2 to the power 2 which is equal to 4 2 to the power 3 which is equal to 8 2 to the power 4 which is equal to 16 now let's see 1 okay 1 2 1 2 3 4 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 hmm? and here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so that's how we can call it as a full binary tree yeah so this is all about a full binary tree and extended binary tree okay by the way the total number of nodes okay in a full binary tree is 2 to the power h minus 1 now what would be the value of h here 1 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव दैट मीन्स टू टू दी पावर फाइव माइनस वन विच इज इक्वल टू थर्टी वन लेट्स काउंट वन टू थ्री सेवन सेवन प्लस एट फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन प्लस सिक्सटीन इज थर्टी वन सो नब्वियसली थर्टी वन इज द आंसर हियर वन टू दैन टू टू दी पावर टू माइनस वन विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री यू कैन सी दे आर आर थ्री नोट्स सो इन दिस वे यू कैन uh compute the number of nodes in a full binary tree okay it's a basic decent formula we already have gone through this thing in the properties so that's not a big deal now let's talk about the complete binary tree it is very interesting and it is going to be used in heap also so you need to you need to listen very carefully complete binary tree a complete binary tree is a binary tree where all the levels have maximum number of nodes except the last one like this one all the levels are having maximum number of nodes see here it is 1 here it is 2 but not the last one then what will be happening in, with the last level okay in the last level the number of nodes may range from 0 to 2 to the power h minus 1 and all these nodes are towards the left direction like this is a complete binary tree because from the left side it is getting filled up it has to be filled up like this now if you this is a complete binary tree this is a complete binary tree but this is not because you haven't filled up the things from the left direction this come first then that will come okay so this is the complete binary tree concept you will ask why it is needed what is the purpose of it you will get to know in the error representation of the binary tree which we are going to discuss after a few minutes okay so a complete binary tree is a binary tree where all the levels have maximum number of nodes except the last one because in the last level the number of nodes have to arranged okay towards the left side okay for example uh, we can draw another example this is this is also a uh, full fledged like a uh, complete binary tree fully 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 filled here from left side it is filled up obviously there are 1 2 3 4 positions are remaining and obviously they are they are empty obviously from the left side it has been arranged like that so we can see that all the leaf nodes in a complete binary tree are on two adjacent levels like last last level and second last level and in the last level all the leaf leaf nodes appear towards left direction that's true okay so now you need to understand one thing like a full binary tree okay and a complete binary tree what are the difference obviously the difference is like uh, in case of full binary tree all the levels would be filled up and here all the levels would be filled up in the last level uh, from the left side that is the difference okay here the property 10 comes the property 10 says if height of a complete binary tree is h okay the height of a complete binary tree is h and h is greater or equal to 1 okay then the minimum number of nodes possible is 2 to the power h minus 1 okay then the minimum number of nodes possible is 2 to the power h minus 1 and maximum number of nodes possible is 2 to the power h minus 1 there is a difference 2 to the power h minus 1 and 2 to the power h minus 1 okay i repeat if the height of a complete binary tree is h and which is h greater than 1 okay greater than or equal to 1 then the minimum number of nodes possible is 2 to the power h minus 1 and the maximum number of nodes possible is 2 to the power h minus 1 now here in this case the h is 4 the minimum number of nodes possible is what 2 to the power h minus 1 that means 2 to the power 3 which is equal to 8 such as obviously 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 is needed yeah obviously up to this this is going to be a full binary tree right 
not a complete binary tree yeah full binary tree is also a complete binary tree, but the minimum number of nodes possible for height h so if you have to have the height h then you have to come down here also and minimum number like one node has to be here so that's why eight got it got it so this is the minimum number and maximum number is 2 to the power h minus 1 which is 2 to the power 4 minus 1 which is 15 obviously it is going to be here it is 7 and in the last level it is going to be 8 so now obviously 8 plus 7 is 15 that's it so this is the property 10 okay i hope uh, these properties are clear if you uh, are having any doubt then let me know in the comment section and i will uh, try to answer your questions in a doubt clearing session if any kind of doubt is there okay now let's talk about a uh, very uh, weighted topic uh, i hope you guys will be waiting for it uh, which is a representation representation of binary tree here i am not going into a coding part right now i will try to explain all the topics all the concepts and after that uh, when the coding part will be started we will discuss about that also okay yes obviously uh, after few like lectures or few minutes a uh, few coding part would be coming i will be try to explain the concept okay try to explain the algorithm not the language thing i am i, I am diving in into right now we will discuss it for sure for that i have to share my screen on laptop and i will try to explain all the codes properly so that you could understand and you can uh, think of those logics in your own language in your own way also so this is going to happen okay first one is array representation there are two ways representation for any kind of structure first one is array another one is linked list okay so array representation another one is linked list representation so now for now we will continue with the error representation now what will be the error representation of the binary tree this is a sequential representation also or linear representation also or contiguous representation also or formula based representation also there are various surnames first one is sequential representation another one is linear representation you will get to know why all these names are there okay another one is contiguous representation another one is formula based representation why formula based that is also going to be discussed so there are various names try to remember them okay because it would be needed in any kind of interview for mtech in iit interviews or any kind of gate question any kind of company also might have asked for your general purpose like in company these are the concepts will not be needed uh, obviously more because they also they need the coding part only if you can code you will be in but these are the concepts you really need to have if you are going passing your masters or doing some research or uh, like you need to like you want to be a full fledged software engineer who will have all the concepts you want to be a perfectionist then obviously all the things are going to happen uh, or will be helping or in the gate exam or any kind of competitive exam like an uh, nic drd or anywhere this kind of concepts would be very much needed that's why i'm giving uh, like I am diving into these things uh, so that you could have a clear understanding of the basics okay so this error representation is also called as uh, sequential representation okay then uh, linear representation then contiguous representation formula based representation and many more okay now uh, to decide okay the location of nodes inside like obviously we are going to use an uh, like uh, one dimensional array first of all let me draw the tree that would be like easier you easier for you to understand okay first one is like uh, obviously p then a then b then s then e k c f l y r w z j and d 
let's connect them yeah now let's make a number of it let's start from one two three level wise okay level wise we are going to doing the numbering okay so it is going to be four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen in this way we are going to do it now let's think in this way okay then what will be the uh, thing like first p will come then a then b then s then e then k then c then f l y r w z j d in this way it is going to come so to store all this thing in such a way we need a one dimensional array basic common sense and obviously you know array starts from zero the index start from zero that means as we are starting from one okay that means there are there would be 16 uh, uh, cell for this case then obviously let's divide them properly and let's do the indexing 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so p a b s e k c f l y o i'm sorry i'm really sorry uh, we can't use the first one because i have started from one so basically p a b s e k c f l y r w z j d we can use this one also uh, and then obviously it is going to like uh, be ended in 14 and uh, there like some formula problem would be there that's why i for the key, like understanding better understanding I, am, I have started from one you can start from zero also that's not a problem okay so now this is the error representation of the binary tree now how would we get to know that whose element is having whose child now if any element is at index i then two of i would be the left child and two of i plus one would be the right child okay if i is the parent then obviously two of i is the left child then two of i plus one would be the right child if if it starts from zero okay if it starts from one then obviously i would be what would be the thing i plus one sorry 2i plus 1 would be the left child and 2i plus 2 would be the right child for example if i start from here then obviously 2 into 0 plus 1 and 2 into 0 plus 2 now for this 2 into 1 plus 1 and 2 into 1 plus 2 in this way it is going to happen that's why like i for the like 2i and 2i plus 1 this is a simple one i thought okay that's why i used it okay uh, i greater or equal to 1 okay so this is the way now p is having a and b a is having what s c 2 into i and 2 into i plus 1 b is having 2 into i and 2 into i plus 1 okay then again s is having 2 into i which is 8 see f is there see 2 into i plus 1 2 into i 2 into i plus 1 2 into i and 2 into i plus 1 2 into i and 2 into i plus 1 2 into i and 2 into i plus 1 2 into i and 2 into i plus 1 2 into i and 2 into i plus 1 in this way the array representation is getting done clear i think it is clear like uh, now there are some questions okay there are some questions uh, like might come like what we will do if uh, any 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 uh, node is missing for example we are given example here like k then uh, a then it is b then it is c and then it is d now how the representation will be done obviously one two three so obviously what would be the thing two to the three minus one which is seven okay so obviously eight would be there yeah that would be the array 
zero one two three four five six and seven now here like for one k then a then b a is c but then the right thing is missing then obviously we are going to empty then b of left which is like uh, 3 to 6 would be there that is also going to be empty because there is no data okay as there is no data we are going to take it empty and then d so in this way there are two empty places okay so this is like memory wastage okay memory wastage but uh, there is no option like in error represent we have to do it in this way okay now uh, for a, another thing is there by the way uh, i have told you guys about the if i is parent then what is the ch left child what is the right child but here also like if the uh, left child is having i then obviously the parent would be what i divided by 2 isn't it and uh, what would be the uh, right child if if right child is i okay then what would be the parent it would be i minus 1 divided by 2 okay let's check for example 7 7 minus 1 is 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 then b is the thing okay for example uh, c the c divided by 2 is a and i divided by 2 that's correct so in this way we are going to have the formulas these are the parents by the way okay parents okay so in this way the error representation is done okay now let's talk about the linked list representation okay linked list representation how it is going to happen so for that we need to declare the nodes and here we need to declare uh, obviously what would be needed like there uh, the structure is like this right so we need a, a section for data another section for a pointer which will point to the next node another section which will be pointing to the right node so for that obviously the ideal node would be like this correct this will be the data part this is going to be the left pointer which would be pointing to the left child and this is going to be this is going to be the right child okay so right pointer that's it okay so to draw the tree like for example let's take an example first like a small example let's take for example like a and b and c for example d it is e and f this is a simple tree now let's implement it see as it is having b so b then it is having c b is having another one d and uh, c is having e and e is having f okay so it is a it is b it is c it is d it is e and it is f now let's uh, take the base addresses for example let's take the base address is 100 here it is 200 here it is 300 i'm just taking the addresses okay just for example in memory it would be obviously different yeah now a is have like this pointer this pointer is pointing to this node and this node is having the base address is 200 then obviously this 200 would be here similarly this 300 would be here but this b is not pointing to anywhere this pointer so obviously it's a null and here it would be having 400 and as it is a leaf node and it is not pointing to anywhere then obviously this is going to happen here also null would be there but here it would be 500 and then this would be null and this would have 600 and this would be null so in this way we can implement the tree data structure using linked list now you can see that what you can ask that what kind of linked list we are using 
this not about what kind of link obviously is uh, like a single link list but it's not that much like simple as like a single link list like single link list is what single link list is like one root one head would be there then datas would be heading like this in this way but here you can see that there is uh, one head but it is having two sides okay every node is having two sides and it is not even distributed linearly okay it is not even distributed linearly and that's why it is called a non linear data structure non linear okay why i have told you guys that this is uh, this array based representation is a formula based representation because here we are having formulas if uh, i starts from 0 then the left child would be in 2i it would be in 2i plus 1 and also when left and right child uh, indexes are there we are having the parent indexes so in this way it is also said that formula based representation and also linear representation why linear representation because the array is a linear data structure okay but here the linked list is also a linear data structure but here the representation is not linear representation in memory is not linear that's why we are not saying that this is a linear data structure obviously this tree is a linear data structure and it is getting implemented by array which is a linear data structure but the way it is implemented actually actually we we don't use this array method in uh, in our like um, storing anything in tree method when you will be like uh, you like working in production servers in uh, company then you will get to know that this these tree state data structures we are not using like array array we are using for some special cases uh, but not exactly here like when the tree would be implemented it would be done by this just think about it like to add an extra what is the what is the uh, advantage of linked list over array to add or delete anything if you want to add any data data here it would be added here and how, how much uh, time it is going to take o of log n we are going to talk about it because the height is like o of h okay o of h is needed okay we will come here and we will add this one but in case of error representation if you want to add something we have to make another array we have to copy everything every single data and then one day one space would be remaining and here you will insert it is going to take o of n time complexity which is very big like that's why the t uh, the the linkless representation is much more uh, popular in case of industry perspective view okay that's the thing actually okay <laughs> why it is sequential because obviously it is sequential manner why it is contiguous because it is in the contiguous memory addresses okay in this way uh, tree is getting implemented okay the representation is like this okay the topmost one also we can add another one another thing another node which is called a root node okay it is a pointer actually which will point here and it will have the address 100 actually so we can add that root as well okay so uh, this is the uh, representation of the binary tree in memory okay in the coding part we will go through don't worry about that let's talk about the concepts first okay so in the next video we will be talking about the traversal of binary tree and there we will uh, also get to know that how this traversal are happening and also and also how like uh, the recursive functions are getting called are getting uh, like how I will explain the recursive functions also to get the uh, like traversal like pre order post order in order and all level order and everything. Okay, so we will discuss about all these things in later video in the upcoming video. So till then, uh, please share this video with your friends and in the comment section, let me know and also uh, press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that every video could be reached you through notification this much for today guys see you in the next video